Hey guys, today we're going to install Google Chrome on Ubuntu 25.04. So first step, we're going to open our Chrome installer application right here. It's called Firefox. Then we have to search for Chrome and you see, click on that first thing you see right there. And it'll bring you to this page where you can click this button to download Chrome and select the version for Debian or Ubuntu. And see here, it tells you it's going to create a repository on your system. That's a good thing because it allows Google to, uh, allows Google Chrome to update itself using your package manager and manager so that's kind of what you want so click accept and install and it's going to go ahead and download the file right there once we've got it downloaded if we want to we could click on this and open it in the app center and that's really easy but that's a little bit too easy because you just click on it and it's installed so instead what we're going to do is close this and open up a terminal over here so we're going to install it from the terminal it's basically just as easy and this is the I don't know, I just like doing it this way. So we're going to CD into our downloads directory. We're going to make this a little bit bigger so you can actually see the text here. And see, that is our installer. That That's our package that we downloaded from Google. Once we install it, it's going to install Chrome and set up the repo for us. So we run sudo dpackage-i in the name of the installer. And there we go. It's running. Going to be done. There we go. We're done already. That was super fast, right? So next thing we're going to do, we are going to go ahead and check on here in our launcher and drag that icon over to the bar here because we're going to be using that a lot. Um, once we, we've had it on our, we have it on our little bar on the side here, we can click on it to launch it. And we're going to, we're going to make it the default, but we're not going to send them information. Um, they already collect all our information anyways. Who are they kidding? So anyways, hit OK. And here we go. Google Chrome is working. So say, don't sign in. You can sign in if you want. I'm not doing that now, not on this system. So anyways, you can basically just say, got it. That's just a, a welcome to Google Chrome thing. Now we're not done yet. We have to go to settings and we're going to have to choose customize your Chrome profile because it, it doesn't look great by default. It looks okay, but you really want to customize the colors and stuff. We don't want anything too complicated. Just changing the colors is enough to make Chrome look pretty amazing. Now you can install like extra themes and stuff if you want, but I, I choose to just go with something like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, I'm, I'm poking around. Some of these look pretty nice actually. But yeah, you, you can look at these all day. Ultimately, I, I think it's, uh, yeah, like you can also change your icon. We're going to want to do that too. And I might stick with green. I might change it to purple. So you got like a watermelon icon for my profile, um, which is fine. I'm not even logged in. Sh setting it to this like purple or magenta color. I think we probably want to go with this, even though, though these other colors look pretty nice. Maybe we'll just go with regular purple, purple magenta Let's go with purple, right? Let's close this and reopen it. Now you see, there you go. 